Hey, I'm Chishi, and this is Subnautica. Now, last time we left off with this nice ship exploding, becoming the wreckage it is now. And since the last time I've recorded, actually, the game has made an update. So, I actually have started a new game and basically got to the point where I was before. Uh, before starting to record again because it mentioned it had nice new terrain to explore and other new features so I wouldn't want to miss out on that. Now in the meantime I already have found some items um, mostly the sea glide and the solar panel for the base. Now these actually are a part um, of something bigger especially the solar panel because that allows you to build a base which does not have a need for a generator of some sort to actually get power and the sea glide is a nifty little tool or machine how you would like to call it that enables you to quickly nav or quicker navigate the ocean and yeah that's about where i'm at in this moment now i wanted to check up on something because i did not build the habitat hey, get in i wanted to build a habitat builder because it enables me to make a base and it requires a computer chip and a battery now it has turned into night time which makes the predatory animals a lot more active in this world. So I have to be on the lookout for any predators. Also, um, I'm not going to play stupid this time. I have played a little bit more uh, in be uh, before I actually started recording. But I just forgot a lot of things. And that sound is very no 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 fuck you fuck you fuck you limestone do you have stop trying to eat me caution 30 seconds of oxygen remaining stupid stalkers I'm not edible. Not at all. I'm almost dead. Um, I died. What? Really? Why did I die? So yeah, what I actually want to try to do in this episode is... Um, well, at least get enough stuff to get myself a habitat builder. So that's somewhere along the lines I can make a pretty base and have a more rigid starting point rather than the ever floating and not quite stationary life part. Because apparently it does float around and one point it's it's actually quite nice it's a nice effect to it but it's very annoying if you want to go back to it Ooh. it looks like i got a little message as well you've been down in the red night scene oh don't you see what i mean yeah this message actually is quite funny it's a, a reference to um dio ronnie james dio uh, with one of the songs, Holy Diver. It's actually a... It, it's, I've seen it in the video uh, of Markiplier when he was, was confused by the message. But yeah, it, it's, it's a nice reference and I think they have more references hidden than nods to other artists or other video games in it. Um, one of the earliest messages I've got from the communications relay when I just fixed it was um, 
Sending emergency staff in nine, 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 nine hours. Which in my opinion is actually a subtle nudge to the second portal game where the protagonist Chell awakes and the automated computer actually mentions you have been asleep for nine, 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 nine and repeats that for a while. Hours. Okay, and what? Ooh. Oh god. Can I enter it? It's another life pod. Holy crap. Let's first get some more air and then look around it. So I'm not the only one to try to make it out of the ship. Oh god. Hello? There's all sorts of stuff lying around. Nothing I can scan. This thing is empty. Silver! I can get in. Oh god. This. Caution. 30 seconds uh, of oxygen remaining. This is. I don't know what to say about this. This is somewhat disconcerting, but as well. interesting. I know there are more secrets like this, and I know there's more wreckage uh, around. And. I actually. some sometimes follow the development boards of uh, the development of Subnautica which are open and I will put in the links in the description in the links in the description below you can actually follow what they are doing their to-do lists and their doing and even there's a board where they discuss their designs it's actually quite interesting to follow what they are planning and what they want you to enter into the game and with these parts, we can make a habitat builder. Which allows us to make a base. Ah, there. I almost lost my little life pod. My savior. My little life pod. And let's find a pretty spot to start our base. Preferably somewhere safe. And somewhere tactical, because tactical locations are very, very advantageous. You know, let, yeah, let, let's make make it here. At the bottom of a cliff. Clean up this. Which is not totally creepy at all. And we start with a foundation. There we go. Let's see. Let's make it nice. Let's make it pretty. Let's make it like... Perfect. And there we go. Oh, it's getting dark soon. And a multi purpose room right here. And we are running out of air. So we make a quick hatch here. Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. And we have our base. Sort of. Oh no. Why? Huh? Why did our oxygen go down? 
That's not the way it used to be. Hmm. Whoa. Maybe we need some power. Solar panel, we need two quartz. Maybe this update we need some power to get some oxygen in our base. I don't know anymore. They change it. And this looks like a good spot. Make it like Yeah, it looks like that. Like that. Welcome aboard, power. Captain. Power restored. All primary systems online. And we have our little base. So all we needed was power. And the stairs is not working for some reason. So all we needed was some power in order to get some oxygen inside. Which is... Again, logical, I, I suppose. And we're going to expand the base like this. And like that. And like... Like... Like, 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 come on, snap, please, snap it, like, last part, so yeah, we have grabbed some more titanium, we have finished up the platform of our base, so now we're going to sit inside safely, and wrap up this episode, so, that was it for this episode, I will put a link in the description to the boards uh, from the Subnautica developers um, stating their to-do list and their design choices and if I made you smile feel free to comment, like or subscribe and I will have more madness for you the next time